Hoffity, guys, and welcome to pretty much going to be the last uh, One Mike Ninja podcast of 2020. Now, of course, we did so, we talked with about so many topics during the whole 2020, uh, some regarding to COVID-19, issues like that. Uh, but I guess when we close uh, 2020, I'd like to go back to um, our consul general office here on Guam because they are our representative. They are the office that we FSM citizens uh, go to when we have questions, when we have, uh, w- when we have issues that we kind of don't know where to take to. They're the office we go to because they're the, the ones who know how to, um, to, to help us with our situation. So uh, with me today on the, pretty much the last podcast, one Micronesia podcast of 2020 is the one and only uh, Consul General of the Federal States of Micronesia here on Guam. It's uh, Teresa Flippin, Flippin Kumbrad, and welcome to the podcast again. <laughs> Kumbrad, Vic, thank you so much. Thank you for having me on here again. It's always a pleasure. Uh, let me start off by uh, wishing everybody a very Merry Christmas. A very safe, actually, very safe Merry Christmas and, um, and uh, you know, a prosperous new year. Uh, hopefully, it'll be a, a promising one uh, with not so much of, uh, you know, um, uncertainties and uh, unprecedented times as, to, as we've seen in 2020. Thank you. I'm glad to be here on again. Thank you. So, uh, I guess we'll adjust my mic here. So, I guess we'll start. And I think the big the big topic of the week in closing 2020. And now it's a miracle, like uh, uh, officials have said, it's, it's the light at the end of the tunnel. That's what everybody's referring to. And I'm talking about the vaccine that has just recently uh, arrived to Guam. Uh, I've been administered, uh, the first three Guamanians have gotten the vaccine yesterday. And then uh, from now all the way till the end of the year, the first phase is being rolled out, which is uh, the vaccination uh, being uh, and giving to our frontliners who are the uh, are, are the ones who need this in order to to help us uh, get through this battle so uh, vaccination is here um so i guess uh, my first question would be uh what is the office um the consul general office here in guam uh, have in regards to vaccination information i know you guys are in contact with DPHS 24 seven. Uh, you guys are, you know, it's a great collaboration uh, to keep our people safe. So ha- has there been any word, uh, any updates as to vaccination? Um, thank you, Vic. And um, as, as we all know, it's been all over the news. Uh, there was a big um, um, celebration uh, with the uh, arrival of, of uh, the vaccine uh, to Guam. Um, and you know, we are very um, uh, grateful that the government has decided to target uh, the frontliners to be the first recipients of this vaccine because, you know, they're, they're you know, really at the front line of, uh, of this whole pandemic. Uh, without them and the, their, um, you know, tireless um, uh, effort, uh, things would, uh, you know, might have been a little bit more uh, complicated than, than, than what we're seeing today. Um, The information that the office has been getting so far is, as you mentioned, uh, the frontliners are being targeted, starting with uh, um, the healthcare professionals. Uh, We, unfortunately, at this time, we haven't been uh, able to communicate with public health on on the rollout to the general population where, uh, you know, a a concern is, you know, I'm sure that's where you're leading uh, into uh, regarding FSM uh, or FAS residents of Guam. but there, there is a, we will definitely reach out to public health and the government to see how, you know, what their plans are after the frontliners have, you know, been fully vaccinated. I'm sure we're talking about maybe end of January, early February, when, you know, um, more vaccines are on island and then we can, the, the government can look into getting everybody vaccinated so that, we, you know, we can minimize or put a stop to the spread of the virus on island. There's, uh, you know, about 112, 116 um, a thousand popula- uh, uh, residents of Guam. So I'm sure it is a big, it's a total order for the government right now to try to fully 100% vaccinate everybody on the island. Uh, so thank you for that, for that question. And, and uh, unfortunately, this, at this time, we haven't really uh, set out a, a course of action as far as uh, uh, FAS citizens being vaccinated. Uh, okay, so but at least we know that uh, you know that you guys are so close to uh, the Department of Public Health that 
uh, you guys probably in the next week, you know, are going to start the, the talks of what, the, how the rollout is going to be when it comes to the general population. I think that's the main plan right now. The frontline workers are, have, are in the, the transition right now of getting the shots. Now, I think we're looking forward uh, to and planning. I think this is going to be a big thing. We've seen the, the, the testing as, you know, as we came to the, year, the, the general testing of COVID. But now we're moving on to the vaccine side. So that's going to be a big uh, a challenge to face. But I know you guys can, are, are really going to come up with a big plan. And I think uh, one of the, the things that I want to touch on is the education part of the vaccine. I think the big question now is, should I take the vaccine or should I not take the vaccine? So, and when it comes to, uh, you know, our, and I'm, I'm talking about our, our citizens who, uh, I, I, I guess what I'm trying to get to is when you, when you talk about the vaccine, there's a lot. I mean, it, we could be reading up to like a 20 page on you know the internet about what the vaccine is you know what the side effects and stuff is there a way where we can communicate this uh, um, to our people uh, especially you know and i know manielu has been doing a lot of uh translations uh, has are, are you guys and i know maybe it's in the plan it's in the works uh, are you guys going to be translating some of this information so our people can, can kind of understand you know what it is and make that uh that decision Okay, let me um, go back a little bit. Firstly, I, I want to, you know, really commend and, and applaud the efforts of public health. And as you mentioned, we've been working very closely with public health throughout this whole, this whole year. Uh, there are some individuals in the department that has been very helpful. And even, you know, in the middle of the night, I, I'm messaging them and asking for information. And with them, they've been very, very helpful. And, uh, you know, you've seen the efforts, uh, you know, the coordinated efforts between public health and the, and the FSM Association of Guam and the FSM Consular Office in, you know, reaching out into the communities uh, as far as free testing and, and information uh, dissemination on, on the pandemic. Now, coming uh, you know we're, we're at a, a, a point a juncture right now where we, we, we have a we have medication we have a vaccine so what are we gonna do we, you're absolutely right uh, uh, that we need you know awareness we need education on the vaccine uh, of course we're leaving everything to the health experts on the, the effects or the side effects of the vaccine you know um, uh, it, it's uh, but what we will be doing as far as as you know, you know, there's been a lot of myths associated with COVID-19. And it started off beginning with, oh, should I wear a mask in public? Am I, you know, contagious or stuff like that? And, and now with the vaccine, people are asking that very question, you know, is this full, full proof, you know? Would, would I be, uh, you know, experiencing any side effects if I take the, this, this vaccination? So we're... All of the, you know, I know for a, you know, a fact that the U.S. Department of Health and CDC have endorsed the two types of vaccinations that are, uh, you know, available right now. The mother now, I believe, and the uh, Pfizer, which is the, the one that Guam is getting. So as far as, you know, anything medically, um, uh, any medical concerns regarding the, the vaccination, we're leaving that to the health, as, uh, health experts. But as far as outreach and education, uh, awareness into the community, we're going, we need to be doing that. And that's what we'll be working closely with public health on. We need to translate whatever information needs to be translated to, so that all the, everybody can understand what, what's going on with, with this vaccine. Uh, rather than you know, duplicating work or reinventing the wheel, we'll be working also closely with the, with the, uh, the Micronesian Resource Center, which we have been doing with translation of, of materials. And uh, public health has been doing the same, translation of materials so that everybody has the right information and accurate information. That, that's, that, that's the key word, accurate information, because uh, you know, th there's a lot of myths, but we have to listen to the health experts. You know, this thing, the, you know, it's been over a year, you know, that scientists have been working uh, on, this vac uh, on these vaccines, right? So if they say that we're ready to, humans are ready to receive it, you know, who else can say otherwise? True, true, okay. so. Uh, that's amazing, and um, we hope to see you know the the work roll out. And like 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 you said, you're gonna you know I'm pretty sure next week or the next following week we're gonna see all the you know the the details, the information roll out uh, in regards to uh, public awareness and public education, especially you know into our FSM community. So that that's amazing news to hear. Thank you so much, Consul General. Consul General. Uh, so I guess well, since we're still on the the matter of vaccine, uh, let's talk about. I, I, you were talking before the, the interview here about um, vaccination into uh, our FSM uh, uh, country. 
So let's talk more about that. Uh, have you heard anything about that? Some information? Yes. Um, what I'm hearing from the president's office is that um, they, they're going to put, they, they put in an order for about uh, 1,600 doses of the Moderna vaccine. Uh, the FSM right now may, does not have the infrastructure to be able to, ma to maintain the other type of vaccine that Guam is, 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 has received. So they're, they're, hopefully the vaccines will receive the FSM, will be received by the FSM before Christmas. And again, and I'm sure as with any other um, um, uh, entity, they're, they're targeting the frontline workers. Okay, true, the FSM does not, it's still COVID free but they want to make sure that everybody's vaccinated. And the president has said that he wants to make sure that everybody's, at, that all FSM citizens are 100% vaccinated. So, and, and big thanks to the US government and the treaty between the, the FSM and the US government. And that, that's why the FSM is able to, to be receiving the, the, this assistance, this you know, um, uh, great assistance by getting the vaccine uh, sooner than later. And, 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 you know, I, I got to say, uh, CG, that, you know, I had the opportunity to talk with, uh, pr not the, the president, I wish I could have talked to him, he's, he's a really cool guy from what I hear, uh, but I talked to his uh, press secretary uh, pr last week, we talked about a lot, talked about a lot of things, Repatri repatriation, which we're going to get into in just a little bit as one of them, and uh, Christmas drop. And one of the things that he kept going back to is he, he referred to this, the president kept, kept saying is an airtight regime. Uh, I, I, I hope I'm saying it right. You know, they want yeah. everything to be as smooth yet as safe as possible. You know, mm -hmm. we close, the FSM closed down and are amongst, I believe, I think the count now is either tw 11 or 12 countries in the world who does not have any COVID-19 cases. So that's, that's a big thing to see, a, a small country on, uh, in the Pacific Ocean without COVID-19. When, COVID, when, when coronavirus spread across the world, they made that decision, the very hard decision to close down the country, even though all the way to a travel ban. So um, a decision from him is, uh, is, is what we're seeing today where you know FSM is amongst 11 uh, countries in the world who do not have any corona cases uh so an airtight regime i think believe that's what he was referring to as mm -hmm. uh, to be how they want to move on with things oh you know Vic. you know some say they were the that decision was drastic and some even say you know they they, they call it draconian in, in nature having the president shut down the whole country from receiving uh you know um uh, incoming passengers and that was basically the whole the, the main goal and uh, behind that is to ensure that the country stay, stays safe. And he has uh, up till today. And as you mentioned, it's one of the few countries remaining in the world that is, not, that is still COVID-19 free. And, um, and that's why when, uh, you know, they two twice the, the government tried to, you know, uh, uh, put in place uh, repatriation efforts. And twice they canceled at the last minute. And this is basically, due to the fact that they wanted to ensure that it's the, the system is an airtight system before they start bringing people in to, you know, to prevent the virus from getting into the borders, right? So when they realized that there are some details that needed more uh, attention, needed more improvement, that's why you know, they had to cancel. It's unfortunate, it wasn't, a, it's, it wasn't a very popular decision, especially for those that are stranded abroad, but it, it needed to be done. To ensure that the country remains safe, and and look where we're at today, we're talking about vaccines. So, and what I'm hearing right now is the the travel ban to the FSM has been extended until January, at, at, until the end of the January. But we're looking at getting vaccines as soon as next week, as soon as before Christmas. Wow! Wow! That's, yeah. So if everybody if everybody is able to get vaccinated. You know, those that are, uh, you know, in country and those that are living abroad and want to return home or go home for a visit, they, you know, I, I know it's been a long delay and there's a lot of frustration, a lot of homesick and all of that in place, but you know, a vaccine is right around the corner. So 
and I trust our government to, you know, fully, the, 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 the goal of the government is to ensure everybody's safety, everybody, not just one person or two, but everybody's safety. And, being, and, and having been able to keep the country COVID free this whole time is very, like I said, it's not a, it, it hasn't been a popular decision by, you know, uh, uh, felt by most, but it is what it is. And, and we, we're here today and FSM is still COVID free. And, you know, and I got to say, uh, and what officials here in Guam are calling it uh, a light at the end of the tunnel uh, with a vaccine. So, you know, uh -huh. we, like you said, probably next week they're going to roll out the, the vaccines to the, you know, the FSM um, uh -huh. and then start with our, our, like everybody has been doing it, start with the, the frontline workers all uh -huh. the way down to the general population. So, I, I, you know, this is, you know, when, when the vaccine rolled out, I think it was a good news for everybody. I think it was the best Christmas uh, I know, ever. right? Yeah. You know, because now we know that maybe not not next month, but maybe, maybe just February or going into the summer next year that people can get to go visit home, especially for us. You know, I, I posted some GoPro pictures of Yap and people thought, hey, are you in Yap? I'm like, no, you know, these were, you know, photos that I found and they remind me of home and I can't be at home during yeah. the Christmas season. So. This is a good news, and I think we should all see uh, this as a, a big win for for humanity. Um, yeah. But at the same time, I, I'm excited too. You know, I can't wait to go visit our home island. You know, I've been away for almost a year now. I haven't visited our home, so you know, this it's I'm personally excited as well. If uh, everything uh, rolls out, you know, according to plan, and everybody is able to get vaccinated, so that we can, you know, continue. I mean, not continue, but start traveling again <laughs> you know it's the world hasn't been the same as we know it but you know we're evolving every day and we're, we're adapting and 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 the way right now is to to trust that the vaccine is is the answer to to most of our questions especially to those that are stranded abroad and have been uh not able to visit their families for the past 10 months okay so i guess we'll we'll move on we'll, we'll talk about it uh the have you heard anything about repatriation, any more updates? Last I talked to the PIO, he says, you know, it's 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 still they're still planning on uh, making that happen. But uh, did you have you heard anything else? Any updates on repatriation? Uh, like I said, the the travel ban has been ex extended until uh, Janu uh, end of January. But now that the vaccine, I mean, the the the, the vaccine being received by the FSM will play a major role in the next steps regarding repatriation. So, uh, you know, it, it, like you said, uh, there is light at the end of the tunnel and we're starting to see a glimpse of that light right now. And it's beautiful. As, as little as yes. it is, it's, a light is yes. better than anything. So we'll take that as a win. Uh, <laughs> right. so I guess we'll, we'll roll into uh, uh, drives. I, I know I've been sharing a lot of uh, uh, Facebook posts uh, from the, the office mm -hmm. there uh, about drives for our, our people. So let's talk more about that and, you know, uh, existing ones or ones that you guys plan on rolling out next week as we roll into um, the Christmas and New Year. Thank you, Vic. And this is very timely because we still, we, we, we still have some food commodity that we want to, you know, share to our people. Uh, but let me begin by, uh, you know, clarifying some concerns that, you know, maybe we got the products that we're sharing or the supplies that we're sharing, you know, the sources of the supplies that we're sharing. I really want to say, uh, give a very, very warm thank you to our FSM Congress. They've been uh, working, I mean, I've been working closely with them uh, since the, the start of the year, uh, receiving funds uh, for, uh, you know, um, for pandemic related activities. And some of those funds have gone into procurement of supplies. Uh, and I also want to thank uh, PS Martin Guam, owned by Paula Selep. Uh, uh, they, they've been instrumental in assisting us in procuring some of the supplies at a very, very reasonable cost. Uh, and they also made some donations. Bank of Guam as, is always a friend uh, of the FSM and a friend of the consular office and, and, sit, and our residents here. Uh, they also did a, a, a drive and then um, uh, uh, gave us the, the proceeds from that drive. And also uh, Census uh, 2020 Guam, uh, they do donated some, some goods as well. So the, the consular office um, since December 6th have been um, um, uh, giving out, distributing 
um, uh, food items packages to, to FSM stranded citizens in Guam and as well as anybody else, if any residents that, that, that need. So we still have some, some, some supplies here at the office and we're encouraging everybody to come out if you need uh, you know, a little something extra. Uh, please come out and, and, and receive your package. And we're also giving them to, to clients that are visiting the office uh, daily. Um, so big thank you to, to, to these uh, organizations and individuals that, that assisted in, in putting this together. Uh, I want to also thank the volunteers, the many volunteers that the office has received over the course of, of 2020, and especially to our UOZ, our FSM students, FSM citizens attending UOZ. They've been tremendously helpful and, and you know, at the, you know, just a quick phone call to them and they make this, themselves available and come and help out. So I'm very, very grateful to a lot of people, especially to our um, Association of Guam, FSM Association of Guam, um, the many donors that we that have helped uh, in the past and, and the students, our students that are going to school here, they've been really helpful. Uh, they, they helped us through uh, PUA assistance. They helped us through uh, um, stranded citizens assistance. And now they're helping us through um, uh, giving out, uh, you know, distributing food commodity. So yes, we're still doing that um, for future uh, plans of a uh, food drive. You know, we'll we'll keep announcing once uh, you know things uh, you know those activities are uh, arise or we have plans for those activities. We'll, we'll keep posting. Stay tuned to FSM Association of Guam Facebook page. Uh, we post our you know what's happening on there. Okay. Uh, well, that's awesome. You know, it, it, it's really a thing when, uh, especially during this time when everybody is suffering, uh, that we come together as a community, as you know, uh, to, to to help out in 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 any way we can possible. Mm -hmm. uh, before we close out, I just want to ask: uh, Have you been? Um, how are our stranded citizens here on Guam? Um, how is their? How's everything going with them? Have you been checking on them? Uh, you know, I know they're they're hanging in there. And I think I think the good, the the thing with our citizens is we, we hang in there. You know, it's we go through the hardest times, but we hang in there. And I know they're hanging yes. there and they miss home so much, but they're hanging in there. So. But Vic, Vic, we're resilient people. We're islanders and we're resilient people. And we're 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 a we're a group of people that are caring and giving. So while I keep you know, we, while some decisions that our leaders are making are not popular to everybody, but it's the you know, we have to know that it's the best decision for the mass of for the whole population, for the whole country. So for our citizens that are stranded here, I have to admit that we haven't been able to reach out to every single one of them like personally go visit them, but we receive calls and inquiries and we try to assist how, however we can for our my care patients. We were in contact with them on a daily basis, whatever their needs are, maybe go to the hospital, go to a, uh, their appointments at, at a clinic, we're assisting with that, even go to the, take them to the bank, provide rights to the bank or to the stores, we assist with that. But some, a little bit of um, I mean, more good news right now is there's a second strand of financial assistance to our stranded citizens here. So, and the money is, occurred. right now as we're speaking, checks are being printed by my staff to go to, to our stranded citizens. Those that receive their, their initial uh, payments by a direct deposit to their bank accounts, they'll receive the, their funds with the, uh, through the same method. Otherwise, their checks are, will be printed and we'll, we're, we're gonna start calling people as soon as, as we finish here. So it's it's been it's been quite a year. It's been quite a year. A lot of uh, you know hardships and a lot of heartaches and everything. But you know we're we're getting to a point where where we can say that you know things are 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 more smoothly and things are not as uncertain as before. Amen. Uh, CG, uh, thank you so much for the time again. Uh, I guess in, uh, we're in closing here, and and I think it's it was perfect and good timing that. That we got you guys on here to close out 2020. So what a year we've been through, the struggles you said. So I think it's such a perfect timing to have you pretty much close out the One Micronesia podcast mm -hmm. with your message to our people here on Guam. So CG, take it away. Thank you so much, Vic. And thank you, KUAM. Thank you, One Micronesia. A very Merry Christmas uh, to each and every one of you, our viewers. Um, you know, it's been a difficult year, but we're getting somewhere. And as I said, we're resilient people. We cannot, let's not 
worry too much about tomorrow. Let's worry about how we can improve tomorrow and not about the, the complications and, and the, you know, things that we cannot change. But very Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, it's been an honor serving you um, this past year. Uh, there's been mishaps here and there. There's been uh, times that we, you know, we don't have answers to everybody's questions, but we do try our best. And my staff here has been great, great support. And without them, this office cannot operate how it's been operating. So very Merry Christmas to everybody. And let's welcome 2021 with a good note and a very promising year. Okay. All right. And guys, Thank you. if you're watching on the Facebook Live right now, it's going to be rolling on TV, TV8, TV11. Hello, all Yap. I just want to say magazine to my family and everybody in Yap. <laughs> so what I was about to say, uh, CG, is everybody watching right now, let's just all put a hand, especially our FSM citizens here on Guam, let's put a hand Thank together you. for this office right here. CG, in, in leadership, leading the way, like you said, you entered into a 2020 a year with nobody expected this to happen, but you pulled through right. at the end of it, the light at the end of the tunnel we kept talking about it. So CG, to you and your office and to your partners. Thank you guys so much for all you. Thank do. you, everybody. Thank, thank you. you. Thank so you, much. Vic Daddy, daddy. Okay, okay, guys. So that pretty okay. much concludes another one. One of my crazy podcasts in the books for 2020. Let's head into 2021 and let's hope for better things. Until then, my name is Victoria signing out. Peace.